pavement cleared, your driveway, we hope. And what about your sidewalks? <laughs> Call for Action's Keith King has been working to find out which cities are most likely to slap you with a ticket for not clearing your walks. Keith. Good evening, Mark. Good evening, Elizabeth. Yeah, a lot of cities out there right now have ordinances on the books requiring people to get out there and shovel their sidewalks in a timely manner. Few, however, actually enforce those ordinances. Still, it is a good idea to do the job. Call for action hit the streets today and found people of all ages braving the cold, shoveling driveways and sidewalks. David Royer made the job a family affair. We homeschool our kids and uh, we got a group of kids coming over tomorrow. So I got to have the sidewalks clean. Plus a lot of people walk their dogs and stuff down the street and uh, it'd be a pain to walk. And I don't want people in the street doing it. Many Kansas City communities have ordinances on the books requiring homeowners to shovel sidewalks after a big storm. But if you don't, are you likely to get a ticket? In Kansas City, residents have a reasonable amount of time to clear sidewalks, but I found no agency willing to admit they would ticket to enforce the rule. Overland Park has a resolution encouraging people to maintain their sidewalks, but OP does not ticket. That's similar to cities like Olathe and Independence. Lee Summit does not have a sidewalk maintenance ordinance on the books. We did find only one city, Lawrence, ready and willing to ticket $20 for each day the violation occurs. The ordinance under citizen responsibility states, quote, removal must be done within 48 hours after the ice forms or the snowfall ends. But even if your city doesn't ticket, you may still get hit with an unexpected cost if you don't clear your sidewalks. There's some liability issues, of course, if somebody slips and falls on your uh, property that could cause some problems for you and your insurance company. Most cities hope you'll be a good neighbor without having to face a city fine. And the city of Lawrence has extended that period to clean off your sidewalk until 5 p.m. Friday afternoon. And that city is serious about issuing tickets. In January alone, they issued 157 citations. For Call for Action, I'm Keith King.